Yeah, how many of you guys have ever hooked onto a fish and he's taking you under some brush or something? You know you got a good fish on, but then he takes you under a log. What are you gonna do? You either gonna wreck your line or you're gonna try to work him out. You got me wrapped up. You can feel him pulling, but somehow he was wrapped around something. Got me under a log. Okay guys, I'm gonna share a tip with you that uh, a friend of mine had shared with me a couple years ago that that actually has helped and I thought I'd pass it along, but Doc Lang, I'm gonna give him the credit for this, because he's the one that told me about it. Put your rod back in your rod holder and just give it 10 minutes. You got you got other rods out, you, you're still fishing, but get this in here, you know you got the fish on there. He's under a log. You got a 50-50 chance of getting him out. Why not take that chance and just put your rod back in the rod holder? See if he comes out. Alright. And at this point right now you're stuck anyway, so you put the rod in back in the rod holder and just kind of go on back to business with the other holes. And, uh, sometimes they, they'll swim right out of it. You just gotta give them a little time. Got him out of there. What I did, I took my time, ate me some crackers, and just in a few minutes, he come undone. He wasn't a big one, but that was a fish I normally wouldn't have got if it hadn't have been for, for my buddy Doc Lang giving me this little tip. A lot of times they swim, up, swim under a log like that. Put your rod back in the rod holder. And it'll work itself out. Just like this one did. Boy, I'd like to have him. Definitely like to have him this weekend, but we done sore lip this one. Yeah, I'd definitely take him in the tournament. Right. It's been tough today. This is our second flathead here in West Virginia, Charleston, West Virginia. They're on the spawn, it's making it real tough. The water temperature 72 degrees. Water's muddy, conditions are a little tricky for the weekend. Yeah, those flatheads, they, they like cover, they stick close to cover. And it's not just, this, this, this technique is just not for flatheads. If you get a blue, any kind of fish takes you under a snag, you got a 50-50 chance of whether it's gonna come out and unravel itself or not. So, you know, why, why not take the chance if it's a nice fish, you know he's there, and you feel him. Take a chance and uh, put your rod back in the rod holder and just take a break. So next time you guys get hung up, give it a try. You never know, he could come out of there for you. <laughs>